Okay, this is my issue. It has been for a while, uh, but it, it, doesn't, it hasn't been that much of an issue. It's just that uh, I don't like it when it's not functioning um, because we use the van all year round. So when the vehicle's been driven, the vehicle battery charges and we're on site then at electric hookup, then the leisure battery gets charged. So it hasn't been that much of a problem. It's just that because it doesn't work, I don't like it. So I decided to look into it and see what we got. This is the sergeant uh, regulator unit in one of the cupboards. Um, I gotta say, this van is less than two years old, so this unit is in, the in theory less than two years old, that's less than two years' use. You can see that the uh, the panel output is flashing away nicely, so that's, I'm assuming that the, the solar panel is working okay. But with a charge status, the red LED just flashes very, very quickly and then goes back off. So I initially suspected the regulator. So I'm going to show you now what happens when I measure the voltages on it. So I've disconnected now the uh, solar panel from the regulator. So that's why all the power's off from the sergeant unit. You can see the cable there. And I've connected my positive and negative <coughs> to the solar panel input. Output from the solar panel input to the regulator, and that is the voltage I'm getting. And it's quite a cloudy day, so I'm going to say that the solar panel is good and it's outputting voltage. So I've now plugged the solar panel back in to the regulator, and now I'm checking the output from the regulator to the batteries. And from that, you can see obviously I've got no charge status anymore because I'm not calling for anything. But my meter just gives out a constant 15 volts. All the time, no matter what I do, as long as I keep it on there, it's 15 volts. So because the regulator is at a maximum 14.4 volts, I asked Sergeant whether or not that will be a problem. After a number of to and fro in, they said, Yes, it could be your regulator and it needs to be changed. I looked for a, a replacement of this on many different places, Sergeant's own place, uh, many different internet searches for a while and I, I couldn't find one. Um, so I contacted Sergeant and asked them what the replacement was and they recommended this. So it's now a MPPT solar regulator with the plugs already on it and this cost me just over 50 quid it was delivered yesterday so we're gonna plug us in now and see how we go so that's that all plugged in but as you can see the major difference is there's no LEDs to say how it's operating none whatsoever so if you looked into the cupboard you wouldn't know and I'm not going to take this unit down at the moment because you can see it's much, the new one is much smaller. I'm not happy with the additional screws I got on my wall anyway, which was done before I bought the van. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the shop and get some command Velcro, those 3M command uh, sticky things, Velcro things. I'm going to stick them on the back and then I'm going to just stick that to the wall and hopefully that'll be enough when i take this old one down so that's me look at that i'm gonna say that's the result uh we have solar input displayed on the panel um the sun icon underneath the vehicle battery at the moment uh the sun icon next to the vehicle battery and it's not giving any display of much percentage left on that because that's being charged so I'm going to say that's well worth the 50 quid I spent on it. Uh, that's going to look after my vehicle battery you now and my leisure batteries, make sure they don't go flat. And I don't have to buy any more of them for a while. So, job done. Result. <laughs>